Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Eric and I like to read and today I'm going to be doing my June TBR aka my Pride TBR. So as most of you know, the month of June is Pride Month and so I am hoping to read a bunch of books that fall within the LGBTQ plus spectrum. And so I'm excited to share that TBR with you guys. But first I wanted to go over today's video sponsor, which is beyondbuttons.org. This organization is run by my friend Kylie and they sent over some great button assortments here. And I'm going to be happy to show you guys what they sent me because they're so much fun. Uh, but if you guys want to know more about Beyond Buttons or if you want to put in your own order, you can definitely check out the link in the description down below and use the discount code BREAKEVEN to get 15% off your first order. So let me show you some of these buttons that they sent me. And it's not just buttons. They have other things too. Like they've created cat toys, prints, magnets, keychains, but they're so much fun. So here is a magnetic bottle opener that says pop off. I also have this one, which can you read this? Okay, so it says, did you say smutty vampire werewolf E2L, I'm in. And I actually had to ask them, I was like, I don't know what E2L means, so can you um, give me a little bit more info? Apparently it's enemies to lovers, and I think that's hilarious. So there's that one. I have a bunch more, so this one is a pin back button. It says queer all year. We have read in color, and it says in small print support black and BIPOC writers. We have Say, Write, Read, Gay. I love this one, I think it's so cute. Very perfect for Pride Month, so if anybody wants to get some Pride pins, now's the time to do it. And it would be awesome, because you'd be supporting my friend, so that'd be really cool of you guys. They also sent me an I Love Myself uh, keychain. And then this one is a large button, and it says, if you can read this, buy me more books, please. I actually think this is hilarious. So yeah, I'm probably gonna put this on like my laptop bag or something like that because it's just so funny. But they have a whole assortment of bookish themed ones. They also have other themes as well. So it's not just specifically to book themes. There's like all sorts. There's a huge category list on their website. So definitely go check out their shop and see if you see anything that you would like. Um, I kind of want to order some of their cat toys now because I saw that they have them in um, male parts and also female parts and I think they're hilarious to have that as a cat toy so definitely check that out but yeah this is their logo beyond buttons they send you a sticker with their orders that they send so yeah you'll get one of these as well but definitely check them out definitely give them a little bit of support and just yeah it would make my heart happy if you guys did that and you can get 15% off your first order so like why not anyways let's jump into the TBR and I will show you guys what I plan to read this month. So the first one on my list is Diving Into Forever. And so this is a Harlequin novel about the main character who is named Kellen. And they are trying to complete their late sister's bucket list. Now, one of those tasks is to go scuba diving. And that is one of Kellen's biggest fears is deep water. So they are going to learn how to scuba dive in honor of like their sister. And the scuba instructor, happens to be a very handsome young lad that is teaching Kellen. And so from there, we kind of see where that goes. But yeah, sounds like a lot of fun to me. I'm big into like aquatics and swimming. So I'm actually wearing like my old lifeguard sweater. <laughs> so yeah, I think this one will be right up my alley and something that I will really enjoy. Then next up, I have another Harlequin one and that is The Best Man's Problem. So this one is following a character who is named Raphael and he is attending his sister's wedding, but the best man of his sister's wedding is someone that he shared a very passionate and intimate kiss with in the past. And so now they're kind of thrown into each other's lives pretty frequently because they're both in a wedding and are taking part in like being a part of it. So close quarters, past relationship well past romance of a sort and yeah I've read a similar book like this I actually uh, I can't remember what it's called but I remember it was by Annabeth Talbert I think uh, I can't remember the name of it but I remember reading like something that was just like this and I really enjoyed that book like I had a lot of fun with it so yeah if it's anything like that like I'm I'm looking forward to it I think it's gonna be so much fun and yeah I don't know 
I think like wedding romances with like side characters, not like the actual people that are getting married, are very exciting. Like I have a fun time reading about those. So yeah, I guess this one will probably be for me too. Next up on this list is the fake dating game. And so this one is following a character who has always wanted to go on this reality show and they finally are ready to do it. They're ready to audition for the show, but then they get broken up with um, and the show requires you to be like part of a couple to participate. And they're very like upset about this because their mom passed away, I think six years ago, but this was a show that they watched with their mom constantly. And it was like their like bonding show that they watched together. I know you guys have bonding shows with your moms. I have one with my mom too, um, Grey's Anatomy and Lost. But anyways, uh, so this character is really bummed and they meet this concierge at the hotel that they're at. And this concierge tends to like really get along with them. So they end up sharing uh, a takeout pizza. And this main character gets in the idea in their head that, hey, I get along with this person really well. Maybe I can use them as like a fake date to get on this show to win it. And so the two of them go from there pretending to fake date and be a couple on this show to participate in in the show. So yeah, I don't I don't know where it's gonna go from there, but it just sounds like an interesting premise and like I'm all for like game show reality TV kind of stuff. So like I'm definitely down to read this. I think it's gonna be a blast and I'm really looking forward to it. Next up I want to read the Falling in Love montage. I've seen so many good things about this book and I've had it on my shelf for like three years now. I also just want to say I really love the pastel -y colors of this cover, but listen to the back of this because this sounds like a lot of fun and just an overall good time. Sersha has a simple plan for the long, hot summer before uni. Party, watch horror movies, and forget all her troubles by kissing girls. Between getting over her ex and dealing with the pain of her mom's illness, Sersha feels she deserves a break. Enter the scene, Ruby, rom-com fan and optimist. Ruby is the prettiest girl Sersha's ever seen, but Sersha doesn't want to get into another relationship. So Ruby challenges her to try a summer romance with the serious parts left out, just like in the movies. But what happens when the falling in love montage ends? Oh, this sounds awesome. It like has like the dark and mysterious character. Well, not even really mysterious, but like the darker character who likes things like horror movies and then the ray of sunshine character who likes rom-coms and the two of them come together to just like have a no rule summer and just enjoy it for what it is. Like, I think that sounds awesome. And yeah, I think this is gonna be a really good one. I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to reading this one and hopefully I can finally have it as read on my shelf. <laughs> it's on one of my shelves that like, I've actually read most of the books on, but then this is one of the, like the outliers that is just the one of the couple that I haven't read yet. So I'm, I'm working my way through that shelf, but yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. Okay, also on this list is The Boyfriend Subscription, and this one just sounds awesome. Also, this cover, I'm just, I'm living for this cover. But this one is following a character who, I think they had like a plant business, but it failed, and so now they don't have any money, so they're going to have to move back home. And they are having a drink at a bar when another gentleman walks in, and this gentleman is kind of going through a predicament of his own because he is trying to get some investors to help out with this um, this like discreet app that he's building. I think it's a discreet adult app called Versatile. And so he needs to show that he has like a partner to impress these investors. And so this character that he meets in the bar, I guess decides to, or agrees to be his like fake partner and he's gonna pay them. So the two of them have this agreement and they're like kind of going along doing this whole charade. And then from there, we're going to see where it goes. But I have a feeling some feelings are going to be involved and I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> I feel like I've said I'm looking forward to it a lot in this video, but like I really genuinely am looking forward to like all these reads. I, I love when Pride Month happens and I like reading all these like fun books. They're just all fantastic and they're just showing love as love, and I'm very excited to get to all of them. Speaking on that, I only have one more, and that one is on my neck alley TBR, and this is, hopefully I can get to this one if I finish all the other ones, but this one's called Kiss and Tell, and this is about um, a queer pop star who, it's just kind of like their life navigating being a pop star, being queer, and being out there for the world to like, 
see and judge and yeah being like up on a high like social influence I guess but also being queer and trying to like date within that lifestyle I don't know it sounds like an interesting one and something that I'll probably fly through and those are all the books that I plan to read in the month of June for Pride Month. Let me know in the comments down below what books you are planning to read because I'm always excited to learn more about LGBTQ plus books. So yeah, definitely hit me up in the comments down below and let me know if you're going to get a button because I'm sure Kylie would love to see that. Okay, if you guys want to support me, I have a Patreon and a coffee page, which I'll put in the description down below as well as a link to buy my bookmarks. You guys know the drill. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification button so you get notified when I post new videos. I post some videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And until next time, keep on reading.